Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. This will be the third time that I've tried to make this video um, because I've got such a head cold and when I talk my voice just goes crazy. So I'm going to try one more time. Okay, so I was making um, glycine gift little baggies, the brown and then the clear ones. And I thought, you know, I could craft along with y'all and update you and talk to y'all while I'm doing some. And I keep making more because I keep having to make this video. So it's like, okay, I can't keep making 10 or 15 of them. I don't need that many. But so, I'm, so these are the brown ones and they've got the little waxy feel on the outside. But here's the first one. And um we'll make one together and I'll walk you through it and then if my voice allows me I'll update y'all on some information so there's one and here's another and see how I, I folded it over and then I got this little tiny little pink paper clothespin and there's another and it's three dimensional can you see the layers on it I don't even know if my glue gun, yep, it's not even hot yet. Here's another one. I don't totally glue it down everywhere because I want movement. And so if you, you know, there's quite a bit of movement in the papers and all. Here's one of the bigger, clear ones. And here is another here. Um, of the big ones so it's really me so let me put this out of the way is it time to go to the mailbox you may go to the mailbox so Papa Mimi's making a recording okay what's a recording a video say hi everyone hello everybody okay on, close the door let's try boys and girls boys and girls are watching yeah come on <laughs> shut the door Axel, my four-year-old grandson, is here visiting, but he's spending time with Papa. So I got a hundred of these from Amazon, and I got a hundred of these from Amazon, and they'll last me about three years. <laughs> so I, all I did was get prints that I have in my computer. I don't know where I got them. How old they are. Some of them could be like 15 years old because I've been saving uh, vintage and all kind of prints for a long time. And um, then I just went and found, let me show you, um, just went and found background papers from digis that I've gotten over the years and printed them just on paper copy, copy paper. And, uh, and I'll show you how and what I do, okay? So, there we go. So, first thing I do is I find an image that I want to work on. And I don't know if I should leave these right here so y'all can remember what I'm doing. That might be in my way a little. We'll try yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to run out of space. I think we could leave. Nope, I'm going to run out of space. This is what my desk looks like when I'm working on stuff. Okay. So, I like this image. And I am using the tea dye ink. I had pink out to the uh, sponge sugar, but I don't want the tea dye. And I um, do ink the edges because it will show layers. If you don't ink the, ink the edges, then it becomes flat and you want it to be raised instead of using pop dots. I'm putting a cough drop in my mouth. So like this one here, I ink the edges so that you can see that there's a layer here, then a layer here and all so um yeah 
So now I know I'm going to use that. I ink the edge of this. I could put that right there because I like the flower. This is from a whole different torn piece because I'm going to tear this. Um, this right here, I don't want to cover up with the picture. But this right here can go here. And this is from another piece of paper. But let's ink the edges. And I just tore the um, edges. Um, this would be great for a journal. With and you know, you use the pattern paper that comes with the journal, and it uh, it would all match real nice. So I'm gonna crinkle this a little bit, and it gives me a little bit of um, valleys and mountains. And then I'm gonna ink it like I did there, and it uh, it gives it some dimension, it gives it some movement, and it looks vintage. So I'm just going to glue with my hot glue gun. Um, let me make sure this is facing the right way, and it's not. So let's turn it this way, the way I like it. I don't know if you want it a different way. So what I do is see how it's got the lip here, and I want to turn that over and go ahead and put a crease mark so that I know not to go past that. See how it's folded over, and I want to do that so that but yeah, so um, we can go, we can go like that. So a lot of people are very surprised that I use hot glue with paper. Well, about eight years ago, maybe ten. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I started Glue Gun Chronicles about 10 years ago and if you go through my playlist or if you go to um, if you go to my playlist or if you go to uh, YouTube which it should be all on my playlist I think I might need to update it a little bit or if you go to YouTube and just put in glue gun chronicles you will see where I have made about a hundred videos of paper, lace, and a hot glue gun. Um, yeah, so I've been doing it for so long. Some people think that I only make cards, and I'm like, huh, if they only realized, you know, what I've really made. So um, we're just ripping it like this, and these papers are from two different prints but you can't tell it because they all kind of coordinate together so I'm going to also um, ink the edges and when I ink the edges I'll chit chat with you so anyway with glue gun chronicles I've been doing it for so long I've made every type heart with lace every type uh, book and lace uh, albums and um, snippet rolls and if it had to do with material and lace I've made it and I really miss it so that's why I'm kind of coming back and doing it again and I haven't touched my lace in so long so let me get a little bit of that wrinkle out so it's like Christmas all over again um, opening up my lace cabinet and looking at everything that I have so I'm really enjoying it but see how you can see the dimension and you can see the layers because of the inking. So guys, if you think that I only do cards, you really should go to my playlist. I make albums from scratch. I do a lot of lace, a lot of material, um, a lot of cards. So anyway, so then this right here is going to go right here. So um, I want it to be raised. So, you know how when you cut paper, and this is heavy cardstock because this is just um, printer paper, I'm going to add this to the back. And see, I just wiggled it on like that. And I'm going to put it here, and it's going to give me dimension, make it a little higher. 
and I'm not putting it right to the edges that way I can still stick stuff underneath so see there's another one um, so always save your little pieces I should have just doubled it but anyway on the other ones all I did was double it like this and, and glue it down but this one I'm doubling it but anyway so now this is raised so that when it's on there you can see how it's a little bit raised and then you can stick um, lace and stuff around it um, so yeah go back and find the glue gun chronicle stuff I'm trying to post on my Victorian Dreams by Lee blog on Facebook um, every now and then like once a week I'm posting oldies but goodies I mean I've made stuff where other people ask me permission can they sell it at different boutiques and Etsy because of my ideas of making stuff and then they went and made you know good money off of it but I don't want to sell anything I used to have a, a store and a craft classes and all and I just want my job to be what I have I don't want crafting to become a job so remember the other day when I made the um, hearts and I cut it in half well this is the cut in half so I'm just going to snip it off and only use half and I'm going to add pink somewhere to this so let me see should I do it just on the side I might just do it on the side so I haven't glued this down yet and yes I use hot glue um, to oh, I need to put my glasses on um, to paper but if you've been following me for a long time then you're not hearing anything new but I have a lot of new followers and you know I post on my um, blog on Facebook Victorian Dreams by Lee I post so many images for free daily so see how that gave it some movement and that looks really cute too adding that on there um, so yeah you should probably go check out my um, those scissors are for paper and they're not working very good you should go check out my links are down below for all that anyway so there we go that looks good and so now what else do I want to add to it what do I have here um, this is tea dyed that I have let's see if I want to add some of it on the edge maybe yeah so I only I don't want to hide all that flower so I'm just going to cut that down my husband brought me out here today and said you have got to go craft and um calm my, my mind and calm calm things down so just gonna glue it so so that it doesn't get sticky I'm gonna use that oh, just put glue on my paper and then this um, and that way it doesn't stick to your finger and then the flyaways are not near as bad um, of course you're still gonna have to use your heat gun to blow away all the flyaways but yeah this is what my desk looks like when I've got a lot going on um, but I have to clean my desk and put everything up even my sister scissors that go two inches away I have to put them in the holder so that um, when uh, I know that wants to stay there so I can put it down before I start a new project I have to uh, clean everything so that's going there I'll show you what this looks like so far but yeah I have to get a peace of mind right now I found this and it says P someone sent me a card and it says P on it and this is a wax thing I don't know I thought that would look cute maybe right there um, so I'm gonna do that 
But yeah, I have to calm my nerves and calm myself down. So I'm out here playing with my crafts. Um, all I'm using is like snippets. And you think, why should you save that? Well, it would work. Um, it would work right here. Perfect. So what side is the good side and what is the bad? And sometimes you can't tell, so then it doesn't matter. So, um, so yeah, don't be surprised if you see me doing a lot more lacy stuff because that's what I originally started for years. And I really enjoy it. So, and this is just how you like it. You can stop there. It only has three it only has the paper and then three different other material embellishments or you can say I only like two or I like seven some people really like a lot like this is material that's actually roses and cups but it matches it so well and all I did was the cotton I ripped it and um Let's see if I can put some. Yeah, I'm going to put some there. So now that I like what this looks like, let's glue. Oh, I'm running out of glue stick. Let's glue this down. Put a glue stick in. I use my chin to push the glue stick in. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So, where do I want to put this up here? Hmm. Or down here. This is a little crooked here, so I'm trying to figure out how I can't take it off. But I wonder how I can fix it to not look crooked. I guess it just doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to put some of this here. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm missing um, working with my glue gun. Does everybody remember my name on my glue gun? I still have that same name. And, um, and, uh, I even tell my husband, go check on blank and see if he's turned off. And I don't even call it a glue gun. So, um, actually, every month I said I'm going to have a random uh, giveaway. I used to give giveaways in Glue Gun Chronicles. Um, weekly and I kind of miss that I don't know if I can do weekly anymore but I can do monthly so um this is the random day I'm making gift bags and this is random day the person that can tell me first in the comments what is the name of my glue gun I will send you out um one of these with goodies in it so, um, yeah. So, anyway, um, and on my first month, I am fixing to figure out who gets the first month's random. So, once a month, I'm going to say the word random, and you get a random gift, <laughs> just because I want to. So, these flowers are smushed, but... The smushed flowers look vintagey, don't they? Some of them are too smushed. So let's put some flowers on. I think these are wild orchids. Is that the name of the company? Wild orchid flowers? I think so. They're coming apart. So anyway. My grandson will not be happy until I am sitting beside him. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay in here. So, yeah, I needed to have some time and clear my head. 
see how it's going to put that right there. I think I am. I don't know what the P is for, but we're safe for pretty. <laughs> and it looks cute. So there you go. So if you're still here with me 20 minutes in, I'll tell you a secret that I'm not putting on Facebook and I'm not told very many people. Um, but yeah, on January 28th, um, he's okay, but my husband had a really bad heart attack and he is 60 and that was surprising. So he's doing better. He's doing pretty good. Um, that was him at the door, walking Axel to the mailbox. But, you know, it's scary. So now, you know, what do I do? I worry more. So, yeah. Alrighty, there is that. So, but I'm blessed. You know, I had my birthday um, on the 11th and... Of February and all I could think was hey I'm happy that he's here while I'm having a birthday party because he's felt so bad um, that he hasn't bought me anything and I'm like uh, <laughs> that does not matter I'm just happy that he is here and able to be with me for his birthday we're gonna go out of town but we can always do that another day there you go I'm gonna put that there and then it won't look as um is off balance so there is the one I just made so I'm kind of making these videos just chit chatting and my um, son and daughter have been such a blessing so you see how this is open I know I want to keep it there now so I'm just putting a little bit of glue because we don't want it to totally come off but there is movement so let me get up underneath this and I can add a little bit more glue but my kids have been so nice and been so helpful. So there you go. There is a little bit of glue strings. So yeah. So we have to ink to get those layers that we like so that we can see the dimension of layers. Um, so let me just shove this out of the way. See how I could use that one. There's so many. And like you think, why do you need to save that little bit? You can actually use it. So um, that's how I make mine. I don't know how other people make theirs because I didn't watch any videos. But um, here is, see I'm cleaning up as I'm talking to you. These are my Anna scissors and they're only for material. So they even go in a whole different holder. And this is from Anna, her first... Uh, scrapbook box 20 years ago she gave us this and on each side it rips paper and that goes in a whole different spot um, I was going to ink but I didn't need to because I didn't show much layering so yeah and see this is all my snippet and it will go into a snippet area so look at the difference in size of them but aren't they just cute and it doesn't have to match totally and um, this bag needs a little something something let me find a brown little clothespin and then it's tiny little clothespin so yeah there is the one this one's got a bow I made I learned how to make a bow a different way that ties real nice so there is my project um, that I've been working on and now I am ready to uh, put goodies in them you know everybody's got where you buy from websites and you have all these little ephemera pieces so I'm gonna open them up and maybe add some words on some of these um, and you have all these ephemera pieces you should start using them or gift them randomly yeah me and that glue gun of mine are waiting for the answer so there you go guys i had a lot of fun and you know what else i'm doing with these i'm sticking candy or different little things in the mailbox and i put them in my neighbor's mailboxes 
man, I wish people lived closer to me because I do gift. <laughs> Because, you know, I make these videos to show you different things and to get a peace of mind and to quit worrying about real life. But I have this stuff. What are you going to do with this stuff? You give it away. <laughs> so, yeah. <coughs> All right. My coughing's coming back. So that means the video's got to be over. Um, this was fun. I'm glad that I told my deep secret. I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed to have him. He is better now than he was two months ago because he had a stint put in and he has no problems now, but just to get stronger. And of course, both of us have had a head cold since before that happened in January and we still have a head cold, but we're getting better. I think I'm getting better. So I'm going to turn off my glue gun and all my lights. And first thing I always do is turn my glue gun off. First thing I turn on is my glue gun, too. So that was it. I'm done for tonight. And um, I'm going to go inside and go play with Axel. And his mommy, my daughter, Sarah, just took everything out of my bathroom and reorganized my entire bathroom cabinets. I found medicine that was 10 years old that I'm like, uh, throw it away. I threw away... <laughs> She's the, the whole toilet. We flushed so much stuff before we put it in the trash, the bottles in the trash can. It was crazy. The stuff that you say, oh, let me put it here. And then it gets shoved back. She went to dollar store and bought um, matching little plastic containers. And she uh, is reorganizing all the medicine, all the first aid, all the fingernail polish, everything i mean she's been watching some tiktok where you get organized i guess oh and on this one it had lace there so that's why i put lace down this see it had lace so then i just covered it with lace so yeah so that needs a little bit of glue and i still had it hot yep it was still hot because it just burnt my finger so i hope you liked this project i really have enjoyed it I want to make a couple more because I think I need a few more. And, um, yeah, I'm talking more because I know my mom watches these. And so I just want my mom to say, I heard your voice. Hi, mom. I love you. I miss you. I will probably come see you um, around the same time Emily's having her baby. So it'll be two more months, I think. Um, plus, I got to get over this cold. So I'm kind of like talking to my mom right now. Um, we do FaceTime. Um, everybody is good. Um, we're doing better and better. Uh, yeah, so. Alrighty, everybody. I'm considering getting the gang back and doing a few live videos with the old gang and goofing off with them. I think I can do it if we can schedule it so that would be fun to do um yeah so wow i guess i just needed to get away quit worrying about is everyone okay and healthy and just craft for a minute and have a good time so this was nice i'm glad you sat with me and um thank you everybody that i did call um for the prayers i really appreciate them and we can always use more I would never turn down any prayers. Um, yeah, so I am blessed. I'm blessed to have you guys here. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Thank you.